The other rogue subclass that is mixing in supernatural power with the rogue's baseline abilities is the Soul Knife. For me, one of the things that I enjoy about the Arcane Trickster and the Soul Knife is they're not only siblings to each other as the two rogue subclasses that mix roguishness with supernatural ability, but they are also siblings to the other two subclasses in that the Arcane Trickster is basically the magical equivalent of the thief mm -hmm. and the Soul Knife is the supernatural equivalent of the assassin. Yeah. And the Soul Knife manifests this psychic blade and uses it to terrifyingly <laughs> attack people and leave no trace. That's the creepiest bit, yeah. And the Soul Knife appeared originally in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Uh, it will feel much the same here, but it has enhanced presentation. It's now been fully integrated into uh, the rule set of the new player's handbook. But we also made a couple of critical functional changes to uh, the use of the soul knife itself, because- I'm guessing what these are now. So, and they're, they're, they're just like in the Arcane Trickster, it goes a long way us lifting the School of Magic restriction in terms of how the subclass will feel. The Soul Knife has two important changes to the Psychic Blades. One of them is you can now use them on your opportunity attacks. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the most requested yes. feature for the Soul Knife. <laughs> is being able to use the, the psychic blades for opportunity attacks, yeah. and now you can. Thank you. The other, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> the, <clears throat> the other cool thing that we've done for the psychic blades is we've given them a mastery property. We wanted the soul knife to feel like they were still getting to use the fun of the mastery system, even when using their psychic blades. And so the psychic blades have the vex mastery property, which is the property that sets up your next attack to have advantage. Meaning, if the soul knife is using their ability to make a, a, an attack with their action and then a second one with their bonus action, that bonus action attack can now have advantage thanks to the vex of their first attack. Yeah, so you're, you are setting up your sneak attack very well and you've got this extra weapon mastery. Yes. The new player's handbook is available for pre-order right now on D&D Beyond. You can find that link in the video description. And you can also find the new Core Rulebooks bundle for pre-order, both physical and digital. And if you pre-order the digital 2024 player's handbook on D&D Beyond, you get exclusive bonuses. 12 sets of digital dice representing each class, 10 new frames, and 5 new backdrops. And all of those bonuses are available right now on D&D Beyond. Thank you so much for watching. We have a ton of video content coming out about the new Player's Handbook and all the new core rulebooks, the new Monster Manual, the new Dungeon Master's Guide. So be sure to check out all of that content. And thank you for watching.